Hi everybody, it's Kelly Hashway, and today I have an excerpt from Face of Death, the third and final book in the Touch of Death series. And um, this excerpt is actually pretty close to the beginning, but I didn't want to start right at the beginning in case anyone hasn't read Stalked by Death yet. No spoilers, so. Okay, here we go. I faced Hades, set on keeping him talking as long as possible. Letitia and Mackenzie, the two youngest Ophi, look like they couldn't survive any more pain. So this is it? This is your plan for us? Keep us here for all eternity? It doesn't make sense. We're still alive. You don't have our souls. Hades' eyes burned into me, literally burned with hellfire. I fell to my knees, and Alex reached for me, wrapping his arms around me and blocking me from Hades' view. The fire subsided as soon as Alex broke the connection. He held my face in his hands. Jody, are you okay? I nodded, but I wasn't okay. None of us were. There's something to be said for the living, Hades said. Alex and I turned to face him. I, can't hurt, I can hurt you so much more than the dead. I have both your souls and your bodies to punish. This was all about payback. He hated us because we'd taken souls from him. Now he was going to make sure we paid for it. Well then, he clapped his hands in front of him, and Victoria and her group advanced on us. Letitia whimpered. Mackenzie sobbed. Lexi cowered as her own sister Abby moved toward her. The others managed to hold their ground along with Alex and me. Then Hades surprised us all. Shall we get going? Go where? All I could imagine was a deeper level of Tartarus, someplace darker, hotter, and more painful, if that were possible. You'll be moving to the fields of Asphodel. If his expression wasn't so stone-cold serious, I would have sworn he was trying to trick us, lull us into a false sense of security before unleashing some new form of torture ten times worse than the last. But why? Not that I wasn't relieved to get a break from Tartarus, but something was up, and I didn't like not knowing what. Your former friends have been doing a commendable job doling out your punishments. He nodded briefly at his new servants. This wasn't at all what I had intended. Victoria and the others were supposed to be suffering down here in the underworld, not living it up torturing souls. However, Hades continued, this kind of torture all the time would kill you, and I'm not ready for you all to die. Yet. I should have known. He was dragging this out, keeping us alive for as long as possible, maybe forever. I had to find a way out of here. Hades motioned for us to follow him, and just like when we'd arrived in the underworld, it was like our bodies had minds of their own, or more like they obeyed Hades, because we were following him. Of course, we were all happy to get out of Tartarus, even if it was for only a little while. Ariana, who had become like a second mom to me, although biologically she was Lexi and Abby's mom, fell in step with me. We'll figure something out, she whispered. I nodded and turned to Tony, who was on the other side of Ariana. We need to talk. I think I have an idea, but I'm going to need your help. He gave me a weak smile, and I couldn't help thinking he doubted any plan I'd come up with would work. I was never really one for paying attention in class, especially when it came to mythology. I had this thing against Zeus. After finding out that it was Zeus who put Ophiuchus in the heavens to stop him from taking souls from the underworld, well, let's just say he'll never get a Christmas card from me. But Zeus aside, I did remember that only a few people have ever made it out of the underworld alive. That was the beauty of my plan. I wasn't going to try to get out of the underworld alive. I was going to try to raise my own soul, my human soul, the one I'd killed. I was going to force that soul into the body of another dead person. I was going to become one of the living dead, and hopefully not the zombie kind. So there you have a little excerpt from Face of Death. I hope you enjoy the way I ended this series. It was a very emotional um, book for me to write, but um, I think everything kind of wrapped up the way that it needed to. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.